Super Typhoon Kung Ray, also known as Leon in the Philippines, is nearing landfall in Taiwan. Most places have already been closed ahead of this storm system, and for good reason. This is a potent storm system. Already, you know, we got the low-level center here, but some of the worst of the weather is wrapping on shore around Taitung here. They're already seeing some of these rain bands, which have typhoon strength winds coming on shore here. And the mountains often displace the highest of the winds away from that center of circulation, which, by the way around that center this eye wall one of the largest we have seen yet this year here now the size of the eye doesn't always indicate the strength of a storm but it does indicate the expanse of the wind field here look at pressure you know 935 hba this is a deep storm in fact earlier was even down to about 915 so potent deep storm system rain bands wrapping around those are going to smack into the mountains we're going to squeeze out a lot of moisture from this we're looking at heavy flooding rains across uh, Taiwan here. And we still got some feeder bands extending back towards northern Luzon. The Batanas Islands under Signal Force 4 during the peak of this. In fact, this video coming out of that area just showing you kind of just how it looks and how rough it was. Thanks to you for everybody, by the way, for sharing these conditions here, including what's already happening in Taiwan as that weather continues to pick up there for you. But this is expected to cross over the island, thankfully, pretty quickly by Thursday night in the Friday morning. It's going to move on out and really start to get sheared and picked up on a jet stream and uh, that convection is going to pull off towards the north and east. So once it gets going back here towards those northern latitudes, it will move fairly quickly here. But just showing you here as we go ahead through our day on Thursday, making that landfall just around Taitung, crossing over the mountains, albeit this exact track could waver a little bit north and south as it tries to find the path of least resistance. We've seen that in the past where, you know, sometimes they bounce off the mountains. They do, they're just like... Where, where can I go? Because these mountains are absolutely high and they act like a wall with these storms. And all the while it does that, it squeezes out moisture. Not only the winds, but I think, you know, we're talking about heavy flooding rains. And then eventually it skirts the coast of uh, China here, passing just around Shanghai before it completely uh, weakens out. But 500 to 1,000 millimeters, easy. Flood warnings in place, of course, across this area. But right now, if you're watching here in Taiwan, please let me know down in the comment section below. I would like to hear from you and just how you're being impacted here as we continue to monitor the storm system with that landfall coming up in just the next few hours. Thankfully, by Friday, conditions are going to be improving even here into uh, Taipei. And then eventually by the weekend, we're definitely going to see some drastically improving conditions. Just wanted to show you this graphic too. This is out of the Philippines. Look at your rainfall. Good news. Things are improving despite already saturated grounds. We have some vastly improving conditions for northern areas of Luzon. Also, um, you know, this moves away towards the north. We've got a lot of waves kicking up out of this. They even a cold surge coming behind it. So surf is still going to be rough. Let's change our attention to this guy, though. Look at that right there. Um, of course, I'm monitoring our near landfall, powerful typhoon, but uh, we also have the potential for another storm system around Guam developing. Now, the good news with this, it looks like it's going to round the West Pack High, which is shifted further towards the east, and it's going to smash into that cold surge, which is just going to shear it apart. Um, not worried about that going to the Philippines or even Japan. In fact, this little bit of a closer look what I'm talking about here. Watch as this develops. We track across Guam. It could be messy for Guam. Maybe some tropical storm conditions. Then here comes our surge. Just absolutely disrupting that and tearing it apart and maybe kicking it off towards the north and east. So not where I've seen rumors people saying, uh, well, could we get another super typhoon hitting the Philippines? No, no. Which is why you go back to that graphic. Um, always get your information from official, reliable sources. We try our best here at Westpec Weather to uh, keep you informed and was possible because of everybody on Patreon and our sponsors who continue to support this channel. So, of course, doing our best. If you're watching out of Taiwan, I hope you are staying safe out here tonight. I'm meteorologist Robert Smith. Do you hate doing your taxes? Do you struggle figuring out what the law is and money management overseas? I wish there was an easier way. Well, FrontRunnerFinancial.com 
is your choice if this falls into your category. They're an international based group of American accountants. They're based in Manila and they're qualified to give you the best information where you are for those international finances. I wish I had these guys when I lived in Tokyo. Each year it was a struggle. Where I needed to put money, what I needed to do, frontrunnerfinancial.com. Be sure to check them out and let them know we sent them your way.